okay y'all so here we are for workout in new york the season finale i told y'all it's coming so actually whole learn i'm gonna just keep these on for the whole damn night because damn it this shit's coming if y'all didn't know trending topics video is probably gonna come out tomorrow debuted uh the reading glasses but since it ain't on youtube i guess this is the debut but anyway Courtney goes and sees Layla and Jay because he just needs his spill the tea. He just has to show these damn show the text messages to prove his point. And Layla, whole thing is, you know, I knew it, I knew it, I fucking knew it. And I'm and Jay just kind of just like I'm just fucking here, you know, because I would assume that he's not always there for their shenanigans. So Jay's just he just there. Dare I say he probably wanted to be counting that fucking moment. So now we have Holly, she's with one of her clients and is talking to him about uh, Sam and how she kind of feels suffocated by Sam's readiness to want to be in a relationship, more or less. She has this whole um, like yes, no type of feel where it's just like, it's either this or that, but she just wants to date. So it kind of feels a little bit, you know, uneasy, <laughs> excuse me, uneasy about it. So I'm like, okay, I can understand that. But my thing is just communicate that to old girls and be like, look, I understand you ready to jump. Let's date each other again. Cause time has passed since, you know, we did what we did. We're different people. Let us date to get to know who we are now. See how simple that is? Come on, come on now. I can get paid for this shit. Uh, so Lindsay is working now. So Holly goes over to talk to her and Lindsay begins to break down because she's just like I don't like fighting with people. This is not me uh, I, I felt like I'm in the middle. I got yelled at just because I didn't pick a side I just want everybody to get along Holly's whole thing is this situation is very black and white and she tells her All you had to do in that moment was say if this is real then that's whack Which if I recall correctly, that's exactly what the fuck she did. But again, as I've said, I really do think that Courtney I didn't say this last week, but out of all the women, I would assume that he thinks that Lindsay is the weaker of all of them because he's only going to step to who he truly feels he can step to in such a manner because he's not going to step to Lena like that because y'all saw Lena win at him. Why, why the fuck would you in my bed? He's not going to go at somebody that's going to give it right back to him. And we all see that Lindsay is very delicate. So that was some fucked up shit to do. Point blank period. But it is what it is. You know, Holly feels that she should have just and that's just taking a side and feels that at some point she's going to have to take a side. So we may not know who telling the truth, who lying, but we gonna see. Right quick, here, uh, where we at? Yeah, on the back. So Noah invites all of them to a boxing class because hey, what better way to get these frustrations out there in the boxing class? And you know, Courtney kind of walks in as things are underway. So we about to see what fuckery comes. I got the, I got the glasses on. So let's see what we gonna do right now. I was kind of hoping they was going to say this drama for the end. Now, this shit need not be lackluster, okay? So, y'all know I'm Team Joe. So, y'all take what I'm going to say with a grain of salt. If not, it is what the fuck it is. Because I know most of y'all don't watch shit anyway. But for those of y'all who do, here we go. So, Courtney is throwing stuff at Joe while they're exercising. Now, everybody had a good release. Courtney decides to confront Joe at this point. So, he begins to go in off rip, like decide that he wants to go the fuck in. And I'm kind of just like, okay, this this right here is a, is a bit merch. It's a bit merch. Because my whole thing, he, you know, I think a better way would have been, you know, um, the way he started off, it is what it is. He was like, okay, one of my clients hit me up and said that you did yada yada, blah, blah, blah. I want you to look at these text messages and you let me know what happened. And then it could have but he is like going in. I knew you were a snake, yada yada yada. Now so shit is shit's already, you know, they he owned about a good 75, 80% before showing the text message and then his testament and then it's just like he went well past a hundred into the one fifties and shit, just like going the fuck off. And you know, it's one of those where he's in the man's face, pointing the finger, you know, the whole motherfucking nine. And I will first say <laughs> that uh, Joe is better than me because I, I think the finger might have touched on the skin. You don't put your DNA on me. But, you know, Joe played that shit off. And it's one of those where regardless of what happened, the appearance, bro, Courtney, you looking mad fucking foolish, bro. And not Courtney, Joe's whole thing is. 
he reached out to me. So what he's saying is these text messages are not false, but here's the kicker is all of the texts are not there. So there's a lot that is not there. And Courtney could have easily been like, bro, let me see your phone. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Or it could have been, instead of doing it like that, be like, look, this happened, like it could have been a sit down between the two of them and invited the fucking client. And it's just been the three of them, but you aired it out this way, you getting mad, you own 10 and shit in the motherfucker face, like, I, and then throwing the water on them. <laughs> like, that's the shit that would get your ass pop, bruh. Now, I will say, Joe, you was bogus for the swamp land comment now. So, I'm going to say this. If motherfuckers from, from the, you know, Louisiana decided to breed your ass from motherfucking other damn field, you brought that one on yourself. Okay, you shouldn't have said that. But as they're going off, Noah is like, bruh, because he's telling both of them, but he's more than going to like, chill the fuck out. This is not our place. Because he brought them there. So it was like, y'all fucking with his reputation, this, that, and the third. It got to a point where Noah's like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm done. I'm leaving. Noah left. Because it was just like, because again, you know, he is trying to protect his brand. I fucking understand it. Joe got to a point where he's just like, you know, actually before that, Layla is now, has inserted herself. It's just like, fuck it. Slim Pickens, let me just jump in. I'm just like, okay, we, we, we bitch tendencies. Yes, that's, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. And... Joe is preparing himself. He's like, you know what? I'm. He was because they were like, oh, you leave. He's like, yes, I'm leaving to go be with people that I truly care about, my friends. And then and lay holy. Well, see, there it is. And he's just like, I don't care about the relationships that we have because his whole thing is this: I'm not friends with none of y'all asses. We are nothing but fucking acquaintances at best. He has a relationship with Noah, then Lindsay, but that's just now there. But it was one of those where I wish they would have had the dirt. I'm hoping there is a reunion so we can somewhat get to the bottom of it because I think there's more to this story. And like I said, I'm still rocking out with Joe because until, you know, they produce all the receipts, I don't know. But Lindsay is now Team Courtney, you know, just like, and she just jumped back on the bandwagon. And Courtney says he's over, but he never apologized for his behavior, which I think he should have done that. That should have been some reconcile there. And uh, what I, and pretty much they're mad that Noah left. And Holly's whole thing is he should have made a stance here. You cannot sit here and tell somebody when they need to make a stance and when they need not to. We'll see what happens. All right, looks like I might have put these glasses on for nothing, but they might give me some towards the end. We gonna see. So Lena, she talks to her family about moving out. Point blank, the period. That's all there is. Courtney and uh, Holly. They talk about little, uh, Noah and Holly questions his loyalty. So, uh, Layla and Jay, they talk about, you know, Mama Love and the uh, whole business plan and talk about moving in. So, they're moving in together. Uh, Holly, Courtney, and Noah have a little workout session. It's actually Holly's. She has both of them up there and she's only, she's mic'd up and Courtney, she's not going to mic up. Um, no, because she wants to see if he can take a back seat. So it's one of those where it's like I'm, I'm, I get what she's doing. You know, it's one of those where I'm like, man, but I get what she's doing. He takes a back seat. She's pleased with it. Sam was there. She and Sam talk things out, and Sam is just trying to figure out like, okay, well, where the fuck are you? Where are we? Because you said one thing, and now we're in a totally different space. And you know, she just says that I'm not there. And you know, Sam felt hurt and betrayed the whole night. And again, had she just conveyed it, like I said. You know, just like, you know, we're in a different place and I feel as if I want to date you rather than, you know, the last time they talked, you know, why do I have all this with no one and now I'm just want to be dedicated to, you know, my craft. Yeah, you just shattered this girl's heart. Okay, so I chose to channel, I just save the last of this, mesh it all together, be done with the <laughs> season, so. Uh, Noah, he gets clarity from uh, Joe. And his whole thing is he just doesn't want to be in the middle. It appears that he is severing ties. Don't know. Probably will never know. <laughs> um, so a holiday party is had. Uh, Noah's late. Courtney is very standoffish. Mama Love is there. She talks to Jay. And her whole thing about the investment, her whole thing is just like starting a gym is going to be rough. There's a lot of minute things and you have to make sure that you're ready for it. And he even says that he's not finalized with the business plan. 
So that right there is a little iffy where if you don't have a finalized business plan, it's kind of it's like you could pitch something, but you still need to have everything right there for somebody to see. So she hasn't wrote them off, but still is on the fence about it. What else? Um, so Courtney um, makes a toast and pretty much says this is for all the ride or dies and whatnot. And it's just shady, shady boots. Lena has to leave because, again, she still is with her parents, but we'll see what comes of that. Lindsay and Noah talk about Joe and the drama because like they're the odd ones out so they're talking about it Courtney walks up being messy but he walks up Lindsay made it clear yeah we're talking about you and I'm just like okay all right for the honesty I'm here for and you know Noah engages Courtney because normally he doesn't do stuff like that the whole confrontation especially in a business type of setting but they start talking and you know for what it's worth long story short shit somewhat goes left because it's one of those where you know you have uh, Courtney kind of like clowning him and trying to dismiss him, but it's like never once that you try to really talk to the man about the issue. You want to go to fuck in and go to fuck off, and Courtney and Joe said the best. He's a person that he wants to be heard. He has to be heard over everybody else. That is his personality. So they're talking and whatnot. Courtney says, "No, you didn't have my back." And he was just like, I did. And, you know, they're talking about the whole situation. Holly jumps in and was like, pretty much telling him this was a point where you needed to choose sides. Even though he felt as if he does not need to. Which the reality is he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? You could be friends with two people that don't, that don't fucking like each other. As long as you're not running between the two telling information. It's doable. You know, last time I checked, I thought we were grown. But... Noah's whole thing to him is he was mostly mad, as I previously said, that, you know... He wrote him off without talking to him. For lack of better terms, they kiss and they make up. That's it, that's all, that is the season. So I made it through. I'm down to two videos every Sunday now. So thank you guys for watching. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.